Hola. Hola. Buenos días. <risa> Buenos días o, o buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. O buenas, o buenas noches. noches. Claro, es que... eh, ni siquiera, es que ni siquiera son buenos días aquí, son las 4 de la tarde. Bueno, estaba eres, hablando y, en general. Eh, y tú eres inglés. Y, eh, Gordon. Bienvenidos a Light Speed Spanish. Tu naturaleza inglesa. Ya. Yeah. <coughs> After 12. Yeah. <coughs> good afternoon, good afternoon. Forgot myself for a moment. <laughs> good day. Um, good day. Welcome to Light Speed Spanish. This is early and immediate, number 46. And so we're doing it in English. Oh, okay. And this is a, a suggestion that was sent in by Sam Hussein. Hola, Sam. Hola, Sam. And Sam has asked us to talk about the difference between pude, podía, and quise. Quería. Quería. Okay. Mm. Así que, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, Cynthia. Now... The great thing about this question yes. is that it's easy to answer. Okay, let's see that. Let's okay. see. Let's see about that. Let's see about that, yeah. We they'll be the judge of that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hard. <laughs> it's easy for us to answer, it's harder for you to understand, yeah. Um but look, let's let's put it into perspective. First of all, pude, which is I could, yeah, or I was able, and quise was I wanted. Both of those tenses are which tense? Right. First of all, oh, I okay. could. Okay. Could be. Are you going to complain about no, English again? Well, I always complain about English, but it could be so many things. I know. Right. Because the verb can is weird. Let's just admit that. Yeah, Another thing. Absolutely. Things. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, we use it in the past. <laughs> when we say could, we're talking about the past tense. Yeah. No, the conditional, which is would can. Would can. Well, let me give you a, a piece of advice. With poder, so that you do not, because we have three coulds in English. Be um, able to? So is to use to be able yeah, to. Yeah, easier, yeah. yeah. When, when you do that, it makes it much easier to translate. So if yes. you just forget the coulds and just say to be able to, yeah? Yeah, easier. So, pude and quise are from which tense? Pude y quise are the preterite. Yeah, the one of action tenses. And then podía and quería are... The imperfect. Imperfect, which is the descriptive tense. Okay, so let's talk about the preterite first, because this is nice and easy. There are a number of verbs like this. It's not just poder and, and querer, okay? But let's deal with them. So when, when we have a preterite uh, conjugation... Anything in the preterite, what you must understand, it's very important, is that that was acted upon. It was done. It's a completed action. That means that when you say, pude, I was able, you were able. No two ways about it. Yeah, you could. And when you said, quise, I wanted, you wanted it, and you did it, or you had it. Yeah. Can you explain very quickly what you mean when you say, It's a completed action because imperfect, when you think about that, it's also a completed action because it's every, everything is in the past. Sure. So what do you mean by a, complete, a completed action? Good question. Action? All right. That was what used to confuse me such a lot when people go, it's a completed action. All my students, I used to say, what's a predator? It's a completed action. What does that mean? And they'd say, uh, <laughs> an action it's that's over. <laughs> yeah, an action. <laughs> it's an action that's completed in completely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. What it means is this. It actually has nothing to do with the past, right? Because as rightly so, as, as Cynthia says, if you say, yo trabajaba en ese edificio, I used to work there, that's over as well. So mm -hmm. it's not about, you know, the, the past being done. The past is done. Yeah. What it's about is it's an action that was followed through. That's probably the best way. It was followed through to its completion. Okay? So, when you say it, for example, you say, eh, eh, y en la fiesta, baile. Okay? What you're saying is, I danced. And, and it's an absolute certainty. You danced. It was, it was done. Yeah? A, a, over a period of time. Okay? With certain verbs, what that does, it changes the meaning. Not with bail, bailar, baile, bailaba. We know you were dancing. 
But for example, if, if we say something like this, uh, esta mañana no pude entrar en mi coche. Okay? Hacía tanto frío. That's right? a very good example. So, this morning I couldn't get into my car. I wasn't able. I wasn't able to get into my car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but let's put that alongside esta mañana no podía entrar en mi coche porque hacía tanto frío. Right? So, one is I'm using the imperfect. I haven't finished that sentence, by the way. And the other one is I'm using the, the preterite. For a Spanish ear, this one, and probably very likely that one too. Yeah? Oh, Both. One, one too. <laughs> uh, they mean different things. Mm -hmm. Cynthia's understood something different. So, explain to us. If I say to you, no pude entrar en mi coche esta mañana. Well, if you said to me, no pude entrar en mi coche, then in my mind, you... You couldn't and you didn't. Mm -hmm. You didn't get into your car. Yeah. That's it. You tried and you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the intention of the verb is always fulfilled with, with the preterite. I couldn't. I wasn't able to and it didn't happen. Okay. But if I say to Cynthia, Sabes Cynthia, esta mañana no podía entrar en el coche porque hacía tanto frío. Uh -huh. And then if you just said that to me, I don't know the ending. I don't know if you finally could or you finally couldn't. Okay? Mm -hmm. That just just means for a time you couldn't. Mm -hmm. But now you didn't you didn't give me the end, the end result. Pero yes. al, al final sí. Pero al final Entré. sí. Uh -huh. Yeah. O no podía y, y al final mm, me fui a casa. Okay. So it isn't that with, with the imperfect, remember the imperfect is a description about what was happening. With the imperfect, what you're not saying is that you couldn't and then you did. That's not what you're saying. What you're saying is there was this, I was in this process of not being able to get into my car. You've got to finish it off. So the imperfect is, it could go either yeah. way. It just depends on what you were going to tell in your story. But with the preterite, you were by by saying no pude entrar, you were showing that you did not go in. So it's not only that you couldn't, but you weren't able to, and it didn't happen. Exactly. Yep. And that's why we. That's why it's said to be a completed action because that's it. You can't change it anymore. You can't give me any more information to change it. Mm -hmm. If you say no pude, then that's it. It's yeah. done. But if you say no podía, you can still change it. You can still say, and then I finally did it. Sure. Or and then I gave up and I went home. Uh -huh. Okay, so the, the the process is still ongoing. Even in the past, it's still ongoing. Yeah, yeah? and then yeah. You, you have to give me the outcome. Uh -huh. So let's do that with uh, with uh, querer. querer. All right. So imagine, Cynthia, if I said to you, um, <clears throat> ask que mi mi hermana no quiso venir con nosotros. Uh -huh. Okay. O, mi hermana no quería venir con nosotros porque le dolía la cabeza. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, what's, what's happening with those two? So, mi hermana no quiso venir con nosotros. So, you used the pressure. So, she didn't want to come and she didn't come. Mm -hmm. No quería venir con nosotros. Maybe she didn't go with you guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe she did. Uh, but then I would think maybe you insisted and she was... Say no, and then you insisted a little bit more. Maybe she came, maybe she didn't come. Yeah, yeah. So, all the, the, the imperfect, we don't know. It depends what, what the person's going to tell. The, the, if you don't finish off that sentence, the, the listener is going to invent their story to it. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. But when you use the preterite, there is no doubt that yes. if you say no quiso venir, she didn't. And that's it. There's yes. an, a, another example of tener. Or, or me, for example. Imagine uh -huh. I, I am your friend or that friend that didn't want to come. And then I finally came and they said to me, why did it take you so long? And I, I would say, no quería venir. Mm -hmm. I can't say no quise venir. No. So I would have to say no quería venir. I didn't want to come. Yeah. Said you can't say yeah. no quise venir because that would be like saying I, I didn't want to come and I didn't. <laughs> but I you came, so but you're here. Yeah. <laughs> so we would say, I mean, it's a bit confusing like that, but I would say no quería venir. Yeah. Pero vine, but I came. Mm -hmm. 
So another little little thing that you can keep in mind with the imperfect is the imperfect is always the intention. It's the intention of the verb. It isn't the action of the verb. Okay. So for example, no quería venir. I was intending not coming. However, then I felt uh -huh. better. Yeah. So it's it's the intention. It isn't. The, but when you use the preterite, it's the action of the verb. I didn't want to come. No, lo siento, no, no quise ir, así que me quedé en casa. Yeah? So that's the difference. One's an action of the verb and one's the intention. Like, almost like the to-do list. The imperfect like the to-do list. What you've got to do. Uh, tengo que hacer eso. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll, we'll not talk about it now because there's isn't time, but it's the same with tener que. So tener. tuve, tuve que. Hacer algo o tenía que hacer algo. It's the same thing. Yeah? So basically, the preterite is done and the imperfect is open to suggestions. Okay? Yeah. It's a yeah. past that it could still be changed. Yeah. Yeah. Not set in stone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The preterite set in stone. If you did it, you did it. You did that's it. That's it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if you, have, if you say the preterite that you did it, but you didn't do it, then you're going to be in big trouble. You're going to have the preterite police coming, knocking on your door, saying, how dare you say you did something when you didn't do it? Yeah? Okay? Okay. We are watching you. Big brother. <laughs> okay, chicos, eso es todo. Eh, entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.